of another wonderful weekend and you're at the right place at the right time. Inside the pages of Jamaica Magazine, I'm Audrey Williams. On today's pages, we continue our month-long year in review with the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce and... Bill to one, hundred dollar for one, any DVD, any CD. Do you have the right to copy that book or CD? We talk intellectual property later in the show, but first, some news you can use. Join the fight. Quit smoking for life. Good day, I'm Stacey Ann Smith and this is your GIS News for Friday, January 10. The Area 1 Police Division will be intensifying its operations to rid the western end of the island of criminal gangs. This follows an announcement earlier this week that the notorious Alma Gang has been dismantled. This gang was successfully dismantled when 13 members, which were most active and influential, were either arrested and charged with crimes or shot and killed during confrontations with the police. Assistant Commissioner Warren Clark says the Alma Gang was responsible for a cycle of violence, including murders, shootings, robberies, rape and extortion in the parishes of Westmoreland and Hanover. Meanwhile, the police have identified new suspects in connection with the 2012 rape of five females, including an eight-year-old in Irwin St. James. The new suspects are the result of continued investigations and a probe ordered by Police Commissioner Owen Ellington after two brothers initially charged for the crime were last year acquitted of all charges. A number of individuals were apprehended and they will be placed on ID parade. Um, we are very, very confident that they will be identified by the persons who are there based on the investigations. Education Minister Reverend Ronald Thwaites has offered words of encouragement and sympathy to the students and staff of the Balaclava and Magati High Schools in St. Elizabeth. The minister visited the schools early Thursday morning in the wake of the murders of Desrick Williams from Balaclava High and Ashnell Coke from Magati High. I want to use this occasion to say how sorry I am, but also to say to the rest of you that you need to be very careful about your own safety. You don't have to be fearful, and you certainly mustn't use fear as an excuse for not coming to school. Back with a friend travel together when you have to go on the street. Do whatever is necessary, but recognize that coming to school is your biggest opportunity in life. Minister Thwaites was on a rationalization of school spaces tour in the parish. He had some good news for the Balaclava High School, announcing that it is soon to be removed from the shift system following the construction of new classrooms. Government expects to procure a human resources software system for use in the public sector by the end of May 2014. Among other things, the software system will help to improve the financial oversight of public agencies and bodies. This supports government's medium-term macroeconomic target of reducing public sector salaries to 9% of GDP by financial year 2015-2016. Plans to procure the human resources software system was contained in a ministry paper on Jamaica's second quarterly review of the Extended Fund Facility with the International Monetary Fund, IMF. The document was tabled in the House of Representatives in December by Finance Minister Dr. Peter Phillips and reiterates government's commitment to improving the efficiency, quality and cost-effectiveness of the public sector. Building greater public awareness and understanding of the Jamaica Logistics Hub Initiative. That's the main objective of a symposium planned for Jamaican companies and investors. It's scheduled for January 21 and 22 at the Jamaica Conference Center. The theme is Transforming Jamaica's Business Landscape. Small businesses are a critical aspect of a logistics business in any part of the world. We must ensure, therefore, that our MSME entrepreneurs 
are included in the economic zones and that they become an integral part of the global value chain. The symposium was launched Wednesday at Jampro's offices in St. Andrew. And finally, the public is being reminded that entries for the Logistics Hub essay competition should be submitted by January 17. The deadline was extended from the initial December date to next week Friday at 2 p.m. The theme for the essay competition is Jamaica's Global Logistics Hub, the big opportunity for Jamaica and the world. The competition is open to Jamaicans who fit in one of two entry categories, 15 to 21 year olds and 22 to 35 year olds. The first prize in each category is an all expenses paid trip to Panama and other incentives. Second prize in each category is 50,000, while third place comes with a $25,000 prize. For more information, visit the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce or call 754-3658. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Stacey Ann Smith. Thank you for watching. The issue is crime. Between 2007 and now, the crime situation has improved significantly. The murder rate is about 35% of what? reduced by about 35% of what it was in 2007. We put the questions to Commissioner Owen Ellington, the man at the helm. A key element of our crime fighting strategy has got to be to degrade the capacity of criminal gangs. This Sunday on this station is JIS TV's Issues and Answers with host Ian Boyne during Jamaica Magazine. Steps to initiate the Global Logistics Hub stood out among the work done in 2013 by the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce. Under the leadership of Anthony Hilton, it and other projects gained traction as part of efforts to rev up the economy. Here's more. Jamaica closer to becoming the fourth major hub in the global transshipment chain. MSME and entrepreneurship policy successfully launched. Scrap metal trade resumed. Animation sector being mainstreamed. Some of the major achievements for the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce in 2013. Much was done in 2013 to ensure that the Jamaica Logistics Hub is up and running by 2015. Multilateral agencies such as the World Bank were brought on board, pumping millions of dollars into the rollout of the hub. Foreign investment proposals also came online, such as the China Harbor Engineering Company's submission to establish a 1.5 million US dollar transshipment facility on the Goat Islands and lands to the north in the Old Harbor Bay area. During the construction phase, Approximately 2,000 workers will be employed. When completed, the industrial park will employ approximately 10,000 workers. Meanwhile, tendered bids are being evaluated for the development of the Caymanus Economic Zone to include an information and communications technology park. Another mega project came when a telemarketing company acquired 750,000 square feet of space in Nagohead, St. Catherine to employ some 1,300 persons. The first 100,000 square feet of space has already been booked by an entity which is the fastest growing BPO company to have entered Jamaica. This and other logistics hub investments advanced the government's strategic target to create jobs and grow the economy in the fiscal year 2013-2014. Steps were also taken to enhance human capital development as the ministry reactivated the industrial apprenticeship program. Hard Trust NTA will train hundreds of persons in spaces at the old Machado building to take advantage of jobs coming with the global logistics hub. And a team from the ministry hosted a series of island-wide consultations to make more Jamaicans aware of the logistics hub plans and how they could benefit. In 2013, the ministry fulfilled the government's strategy of giving special attention to the MSME sector as a key element of job creation and economic growth. The micro, small and medium-sized enterprise MSME entrepreneurship policy was completed, tabled and launched, providing a crucial structure for the development of the sector. Some of the big initiatives relating to the growth agenda 
of the government of Jamaica is directly linked to this policy. We are very clear as an administration that unless the MSME sector is made to come alive and to play its role, the impact of this, um, of these larger initiatives will not yield the benefit that, is, that, that it needs to. Two billion dollars was provided to the Development Bank of Jamaica for unlending to small businesses. Cabinet approved a comprehensive business registration form to make it easier for companies to file their tax returns. And in late 2013, the ministry introduced the observance of Global Entrepreneurship Week. It facilitated direct contact between MSMEs and other stakeholders and allowed business owners to gain valuable technical and financial support. It is an important contributor to economic activity. It provides jobs, it earns foreign exchange, and clears the environment of derelict vehicles and other forms of scrap metal. The industry ministry reintroduced the scrap metal trade in January 2013, supporting government's focus on the development and growth of key productive sectors. Stricter regulations were put in place to protect the country's infrastructure, and they have been proving successful. So far, three persons have been arrested and charged by the police. One employee has been, has been terminated and one exporter is faced with imminent suspension of his export license. We promised the Jamaican people that we would be vigilant and swift in remedying any breach of the stringent regulations governing the trade. We intend to keep that promise. In 2013, the Consumer Protection Tribunal was established and Kent Pantry QC was named chairman. The tribunal provides a speedy means of resolving consumer disputes. Meanwhile, in response to the rise in the value of the U.S. dollar against the Jamaican currency, government moved to ensure consumers were not disadvantaged. In line with the administration's mandate of a modern, responsive and efficient public service, the CAC conducted price surveys to make certain increases in the price of goods were justified. Making Jamaica's animation sector globally competitive was another priority for the Industry Investment and Commerce Ministry last year. The World Bank-funded inaugural Kingston Animation Festival connected animators with international stakeholders. It led to several local artists gaining overseas contracts. A platinum opportunity awaits us in the form of the global animation industry. And we have no other option but to get on board. The Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce during 2013, driving the government's strategic priority of job creation and economic growth by facilitating the implementation of the Jamaica Logistics Hub, improving the business environment, regularizing the scrap metal industry and developing other key sectors. Let's celebrate Jamaica to the world. Fastest man in the world. First Jamaican woman to win gold in Olympic 100 meter sprint. An upcoming global superstar. Mouth watering meals. And a vibrant set of people. We are Jamaicans. Let's get together and bring back the love. Whoa, whoa, And she was love at first sight. I said I met a girl this morning. And she was beauty to my eyes. I asked her where she from, she tell me in the topics. She asked me what's my name, I tell her I am Janice. And I said, girl, tell me what's your name. She tell me that her name is America. And I said, smile. Smile for me. 
Jamaica. There'll be a better tomorrow. 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 It was Robert Frost who said, Poetry is when an emotion has found its thoughts, and the thought has found words. And that's exactly what happened at the recent staging of the Jamaica Poetry Festival. Check this out. Jamaica, you are a sight to behold. Jamaica, you are my heart, my soul. Jamaica, I stick with you till me old. I gonna use bleaching cream, wear tight pants or shave eyebrow. I go natural, carrot, okra, pumpkin, pop chow. I gone is I mine. It was a night in honor of Jamaica's theater and poetry stalwarts. Lyrics rolled off tongues, penetrating the eager minds out in the cool night air. Jamaica Poetry Festival 2013, this week on the Arts Page. But if you beat me, you can't beat my words. In its third staging, the Literary Works Festival was held at the Louise Bennett Garden Theatre in St. Andrew. In a venue dedicated to the island's lavish queen, those who took the stage knew they had big shoes to fill. Not only were they inside the Poetry Queen's honored center, they were also performing in celebration of other cultural icons. Dance luminary and veteran broadcast journalist Alma Mokien and actress Leonie Forbes were two of the festival's honorees. The others were Lorna Goodison, the late Rani Williams and Olive Lewin. A mix of new and established spoken word performers took to the stage, expressing their thoughts and emotions, bringing life to the poetic fest conceptualized by edutainment promotion in partnership with the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission. Oh, how I wish I could share the love of my father with you. You would probably want him to adopt you. It is love, unending love, love that you consider dying for. Tell me your name and number. Tell me your residence. Tell me your age. I'm making sure you pass adolescence. I'm a now run go recompense. You think me not have sense? I don't ask milk or honey. But somebody tell me why so much month left at the end of the money. You yeah. say you know about breadfruit. Yes. Give me another name for breadfruit. Fruit of the pan, make gusta fruit of the pan. Fruit of the pan, make gusta fruit of the pan. That's another name, fruit of pan. Fruit of pan is another name for breadfruit. And since music and poetry are close cousins, it too found its way to the stage. Righteousness exalt the nation and righteousness stands continually. Love one another like sisters and brother, that's the same each and every day. At the end, the honorees in attendance were delighted by what unfolded. It is a very courageous attempt to show some respect, particularly to elders in the society. And I think that is to be commended. The evening has been beautiful. It makes me feel tremendous. It makes me full of hope to see some, some of the very young poets and the kind of work they are doing. And they are acknowledging and saying, you did try, you achieved some things. And I'm saying to them, thank you for that. Organizer and internationally acclaimed dub poet Yasu Safari was pleased with the 2013 staging of the festival. We wanted people to come out and to connect with the soul and essence of the performers. I love Jamaica poetry. This was a fabulous event. I love this show, you know? Third time I've been here, and I love it. What do you miss to do looking in the cleaner? I see them have a job for your helper. So I take up my phone, dial the number. She clear me for call her Miss Jennifer. Tuesday morning, Pam, I try the one high piece of mountain. Me climbing as my reach. Not 
see what she offer. She a tell me if you look from blue paper. Jamaica Poetry Festival 2013, an expressive and spirited tribute to the nation's stalwarts, can certainly take a bow. Young people, listen up. Have you ever heard the parable of the servants who got five and two bags of talent each and later went out and gained more? Well, you can draw inspiration from that biblical story. Whatever it is that you can do, do it with all your might. If you can dance, dance. If you can sing, and I, I mean really sing, go ahead and showcase that special gift. Don't be like the servant who buried his one talent. Unleash it. You may just be able to learn something more about yourself and gain another extra special gift. It's not too late to reset the thing and get the courage to do things differently. Every time there's a strong breeze, we are full of a leaf. End of my nightmare. She can't chop them to go up a tree and get away with it. It's a bearing fruit tree. Is that right? Me and I will have it out in here today. Lord Jesus. Who? Who? No, stop. John, one to your man. What? John, look here. At least hear what she have to say first, no? Hear what she have to say. No, no but don't bother the war situation, man. Listen. We can go and get a restorative justice centre, you know, man, and sort this thing out. You don't want to set up yourself for jail. Come on, let's sort out this thing. Once and for all. Restore the peace, restore the love, restore the niceness. A restorative justice. Ah, ah. Respect each other. A program of the Ministry of Justice funded through CSJP. We all love our movies, music, and all things entertainment. But you have to watch or listen to them legally. Still a little fuzzy? Watch this, then decide if you have the right of that copy. Bill to one, hundred dollar for one. Any DVD, any CD. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, Hi. yes, Good yes, man. Yeah, man. You have right. salt? Yeah, man, me have salt, man. Hundred dollar. Bill right. to anything. Yeah, man, the quality good, man. Because... Theater quality here again. Me no want the bag in my movies. You know. No, no man, the theater All quality right. here again. All right, cool, Friday, respect. All right, cool, respect. Bill to one, hundred dollar gear, yeah, any man. DVD or CD. It's a recurring situation on the nation's streets. Bootleg DVDs and CDs replacing the real thing. All in a bid to make quick cash and satisfy the appetite of music and movie lovers. But how important is it to observe copyright and other intellectual property rights? The Jamaica Intellectual Property Office, JIPO, is the agency in charge of protecting the original creations of the mind. For example, poetry, signs, fashion, and logos. You get the picture. But before we get into all that, let's start off with copyright. A copyright is one type of intellectual property right, which is all about protecting original creative expressions. Mm -hmm. And copyright applies to works that are of a literary, artistic, mm -hmm. musical, or dramatic nature. By literary, we mean stories and poems, but also lyrics of songs. Mm -hmm. By musical, we mean uh, music composition, the melody, the rhythm. By dramatic, we mean a choreographed dance or a mime. And by artistic, we mean photographs, or paintings, or sculptures, or maps even. Copyright holders are protected under the Copyright Act of 1993. Under the International Treaty for Copyright Protection, Jamaicans are protected in at least 160 countries. Now, once the work is in its original written or recorded form, it doesn't have to be registered for the owner to own the right of the copy. It should, however, have this symbol along with the author's name and the date of creation. You can also keep a copy of your work by sending a registered mail to yourself through a local post office. When the mail arrives, keep it in a safe place. It may be used as proof in a court of law. Let's go with something that seems to resonate with everybody. Is it okay for me to copy or should I say burn a CD or DVD for sale? 
Well, if you have created the content on the CD, if you wrote the music or, or the lyrics, or you have filmed the movie, mm -hmm. then if you're the owner of the content, then you can do with it as you wish. Yeah, but naturally. If, if all you have done is purchase the CD or the DVD, mm -hmm. you are allowed to make a copy for your private or domestic use. But if you're going to make copies that are in commercial quantities, mm -hmm. if you're going to be using the work in a way that takes away from the economic rights of the copyright owner, then that is a no-no under the law. A copyright holder still has his or her title 50 years after death, so the economic benefits can be passed on to their heirs or anyone they wish. After 50 years, it goes into what we call the public domain, mm -hmm. which means that anyone would be able to use the work, refer to the work, adapt the work, without having to get your permission mm -hmm. as the owner of the work or having to pay any license or royalties for the use of the work. A trademark is simply a symbol which distinguishes one commercial entity from another. But it's not limited to those offering goods. The service industry is also accounted for. For example, Etana mm -hmm. is a registered trademark. And not only entertainers, but celebrities mm -hmm. can also register trademarks. So Usain Bolt mm -hmm. has tra several trademarks with our office, mm -hmm. with him doing the To The World pose, mm -hmm. with his name, with various derivatives of his name, such as Bolt To The World uh -huh. or Lightning Bolt. Trademarks can be protected for 10 years, but it's renewable as long as the business continues to operate. So does that mean I'm not allowed to use any of these trademarks or logos, so to speak? Without their permission. And that's the nature of intellectual property rights. It, otherwise, it's in contravention of the law and the owner could sue mm -hmm. or criminal action could be taken against those persons. Earlier in 2010, two Chinese nationals were arrested and charged for breaches of the Trademarks Act due to bootleg cigarettes and other goods. What about Pasa Pasa? That's a registered trademark and some other examples of trademarks that have been filed with our office include Kuya, Jamekia, Relop, Zion Roots, uh, Yuzimi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so persons are using our Jamaican parlance and applying it to the various goods or services that they're offering and they can be filed here as registered trademarks. If you want to protect the original creations of your mind, contact Jaipo at 18 Trafalgar Road, Kingston 10 or give them a call at 946-1300. I needed help to expand my business, but the banks only wanted to be up in my business. The high interest rates were killing my business. They never really business with my business. At the Exim Bank, we have your business needs covered. Our application process is easy. And we provide loans at competitive rates for the productive sector. From renewable energy projects and working capital to plant upgrades or expansion and export financing. Come in and talk to us today. The Exim Bank. On the road to success, you are going to want us in your business. And that's how we end this Friday's edition of Jamaica Magazine. Hope you had a blast. Let us know. You may send your comments to jamaicamagazine at jis.gov.jm. Follow us on Twitter at JIS News and visit our website, jis.gov.jm. Remember, whatever you can do or dream you can do, begin it. Boldness has genius and power in it. Think on this as you start your weekend. On behalf of the production team, I'm Audrey Williams. Do take care. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica.